good afternoon, everybody. I just got home from church and it's starting to rain and sleet. Sorry, y'all, sleet here. And I got my church clothes off and got my warmest robe I have and my warmest socks. And uh, I ran by Kroger's and had to pick up a thing of spinach and a thing of baby kale because all that other that I had got at the food pantry, y'all, that's gone. I am drinking these smoothies and they are very, very good. But somebody asked me, I don't remember who, on my food pantry haul the other day, if I ever froze cantaloupe. And uh, I told them no, I hadn't. So I decided to experiment. So I bought me a uh, cucumber, seedless cucumber. And uh, I've cut several chunks of that up. So we, we got our kale and our spinach. And oh, this cucumber tastes like summertime. I already eat a slice of it. So I froze some of my cantaloupe to experiment in my smoothie. So I have some pieces of cantaloupe. I have a piece of a banana. And I have frozen canned pineapple, which I don't know if that video will be released before this smoothie, but I made a video when you have um, vegetables or fruit that might expire before you use it, y'all, you, you can freeze it. So I keep check on the pears and pineapples and such as that. And I do freeze the pears and use them for my smoothies, the canned pears. So this is my canned pineapple. And uh, I was trying to break that easily, or break it in two. So the blender can, that juice is, doesn't freeze hard like water, it's uh, softer. Okay. So, to mix this all together, I'm going to use my pomegranate juice since I have it. And y'all, since it's been cold, like I usually drink a lot of pomegranate juice and peach juice and such as that. But with this cold weather, I do good to drink this, to drink this smoothie. So we add our pomegranate juice, I added eight ounces of water. So that's a, a cup of juice and a cup of water. So that's that much liquid. Okay, let's blend it up and see what we got. That's our whole black seed, but the blender. I'm gonna process this a lot longer when I turn the film off, the camera off. I know y'all don't wanna hear all that. But I had uh, some whole grain cereal for breakfast and some whole grain bread. And this is my lunch. And uh, y'all, I'm not sure what I'll have for supper. I may be too full from this. I'm trying to get the greens at the top to go to the bottom. So I can give this a taste before I turn my Turn my camera off. Oh, it looks good. 
Mm. You can taste the cantaloupe, and it tastes good. Now, this canned pineapple is not as sweet as my uh, fresh pineapple that I used in the other smoothie. I made another video. But, hey, that works. That works. I'll drink that right up. No problem. Mmm. You don't taste the greens. I can't even taste the cucumber. And you don't taste the kale, and you don't taste the spinach. The main taste is the cantaloupe and the pineapple. And uh, the banana pomegranate juice. So, y'all, that's a that's a very healthy drink. And uh, don't have to add no sugar or anything to it because the, uh, the cantaloupe and the pineapple and the banana was the... That's why I like to use those really ripe bananas. Even when you use apple, uh, the dark ripe bananas are much sweeter. And like those pineapple, the fresh pineapple, it was dark and ugly on the outside. And it wouldn't be anything you would want to buy from the store. And y'all, those are the ones I pick at the food pantry. Those are the best. And if I'm not going to eat them right away, I just bring them home and put them in the freezer. So, uh, because even in the summer, I'll do like a, what they call the nice cream, where you just blend like your pineapple and a banana and maybe a little vanilla or something like that together. And you just eat it frozen. But like, don't, uh, don't put anything in it. You might want to put some some uh, almond milk or some oat milk a little bit just to get it to blend if it won't blend uh, or use uh, pineapple juice if you want it to taste like pineapple uh, pineapple and coconut and banana is delicious and you can use your uh, cocoa powder and uh, make chocolate ice cream and I'll be showing y'all some of those uh, in the in the future and Probably like with that uh, cantaloupe, uh, I bet you could puree that up with something and make like a sorbet. So we'll we'll play with some of those. I'll try to give y'all some more ideas for the ones of y'all that are wanting to try something a little bit more healthy. But uh, y'all make you a green uh, a green smoothie. Green drinks are good for you. Y'all be blessed. Stay warm. Uh, we love you. Jesus loves you more. Don't forget to say your prayers, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Just in case you're wondering how much that was, it's three pint glasses. I'm going to pop two in the freezer. And uh, the nice thing about these jelly jars is you can put a lid on the top. And uh, I'm going to do my best to drink all three of those before I go to bed tonight. I'm going to share this idea with y'all since I'm going through so many of these green smoothies and I'm actually enjoying them all uh, especially with pear and the pineapple I don't think I've showed y'all one with pear yet but I'll show y'all that and uh, the carrots the carrots is very good too carrot and apple uh, so you know I just I'm trying to use what I have, uh, but I ran out of green, so I bought some at the store, and just so happened these were on sale. So I'm going to take a big old handful of spinach and put it in a freezer bag, because it doesn't seem to last very long, even though I eat it really quick. And what I'm going to do is... And I should have done it today because they had this on sale. Okay, there's me a handful of spinach and a handful of kale. So I'm going to pop this in the freezer. Get all the air out. And uh, y'all, I've never frozen cucumber. I don't know whether I should try to freeze a piece of cucumber. Okay, so out of, a, out of one of these big boxes... We'll get three blenders. That's what it's. 
that's what it looks like we're going to get. Three blenders full, which is three pints a blender. So that's nine pints. Uh, I guess depending on the amount of fruit you put in it, but hey, if you get your fruit, if you get to drink it with your greens and you don't have to worry about eating it, and then you can just eat whatever, you know, something savory that's... Uh, satisfies your you know your your palate for uh for chewing so just to satisfy my curiosity i'm going to cut a piece of this off and i'm going to put it in one of these bags and uh i'm gonna see how that goes because if it gets mushy, that's what I'm thinking. It's going to just be mushy when it thaws out. But if it mixes up in the smoothie and don't give like some kind of weird uh, texture. So we got our English cucumber in there also. And uh, I don't want to put my flax seeds and chia seeds and all that. I want to add that when I'm making the smoothie because... Those absorb liquid and get a very funny texture, so we don't want that happening. Uh, so I'm squeezing out all the air that I can by vacuum sealing it. And that'll keep it fresher too, although I'm gonna use this up this week, I'm sure. But it, we're supposed to have ice storm and I won't be able to get out, so, uh, I could have drank this, used this up before it went bad, but I just wanted to do this to make the video to show y'all uh, if you get it at the food pantry or you find it on sale really cheap, which today they had uh, a lot of this stuff marked down and the date was still good for several days. So I'll let y'all know how that cucumber turns out. So know you're loved. Jesus loves you more. Don't forget to say your prayers. Stay warm. Stay healthy, stay happy, try something new in 2024, and me and Brindley and Nugget, I'll see you in the next video.